Noodles. Hello. Are you making your debut on YouTube? Are you? Yes. It's been a night. Mm hmm. Noodles. <gasps> Noodles. guys Nick Beauty Glam here hello so if you hadn't noticed from my two little intros I've been trying to film since I came home from work we had Logan bump his head <laughs> and my daughter screaming and then my dog decided to get into my frame and then my husband's playing a video game in the kitchen and he can hear me talk Like it. So it's very hard to get some time to film. <laughs> For all you YouTubers out there who are moms and you have multiple children, can you please message me and let me know how you go about doing that? Because I would love to know. However, being kicked out of my living room, kitchen, all of my other spaces, we are now in my bedroom. I actually kind of like this backdrop. I think I'm going to do this from now on. So, anywho, don't worry, uh, I apologize about the lighting. Um, this is my bedroom lighting. We're doing it. We're kicking it old school today. <laughs> One day I'll be a professional YouTuber. I promise. <laughs> so anyway, long intro. So what we're doing today is I wanted to go over um, my boxy charm that I got in the mail. For all of you out there who do not know what BoxyCharm is, um, I was introduced to this about a year ago. I used to get the Ipsy Glam Bag. Nothing against Ipsy, but they're not the greatest. They're not the greatest. I mean, you get five or so products, but they're like teeny tiny little products. They're little sample sizes. And you get like a stupid little makeup bag. I, I discontinued that and then I went to BoxyCharm once I heard about this and I have been obsessed. It has literally built up my entire makeup collection. I mean granted I buy a lot of makeup but this has built up my entire makeup collection because you get five solid large products, full size products every month and it's $20, $21 a month. Um, I mean you really can't beat that. You get name brands, large sizes, and I mean, you can't complain. So for any of you out there who are makeup, makeup, what's the word? Challenged <laughs> and you have no idea what to buy and you have no idea what direction to do, $21 a month gets you BoxyCharm and you will get five, four to five large regular sized products from name brands out there that will help you build up your collection if you're not sure on what to get. Um, I'm gonna say it because every YouTuber has to say this nowadays. I am not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> not sponsored. I pay for this with my own money and I just wanted to show you guys and unbox it for you. So, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here's my boxy charm. This is the box that it comes in. Let's see what we got. And I also will read off the prices um, of what these full-size items would normally retail for and you'll be able to see the comparison of like how valuable this stuff is like the stuff sometimes retails for over a hundred dollars total you know and you're getting the entire box for $21 you can't beat it <laughs> my lights just flickered <laughs> we're doing well today okay so inside the box um, this is FYI, this is the September box that we got. You get one every month, and it usually ships around the 10th of the month, and you get it like between, you know, the 12th and the like 15th of the month. So I got mine today, and the theme this month is the Wildflower box. So you get the insert here, and then it shows you all the products that you got and explains what they are. So we'll go with the first product, which I think, first of all, if you don't know what you're buying when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, 
they send you an eyeshadow palette in like every box. So you could really build up your collection. I mean, I can't even tell you. I have so many eyeshadow palettes because of this subscription box. So there's literally something for everybody. Um, this now, this is, I'm unboxing this. This is the first time I've seen any of this stuff. This is the Nightingale eyeshadow palette from Pretty Vulgar. Um, I haven't tried Pretty Vulgar too much. I have a blush from them. I have, um, I have a liquid liner. And I mean, from what I've seen, and I think I have a liquid, liquid lipstick from them as well. From what I've seen, their products are actually really good. So I'm excited about this one. So this is the Nightingale eyeshadow palette from Pretty Vulgar. Pretty packaging. It's got like the embossing right here and like a silver, you got a pretty little bird. It's all like raised and embossed. It's like very, um, what's the word, woodsy? what it seems like. And it's a sturdy palette, um, cardboard. Oh, how, how nice is that? Embrace your beautiful contradictions. So it says in the back, and you got a little key there. I like it. So when you open it up, oh, ooh, and you get a mirror too. We're gonna take that off so it's pretty. Oh, yay. I get excited, sorry. <laughs> How cute is that? So you get a full size mirror. You get a full size mirror. Hey, there's my setup. <laughs> you, yeah, that's my setup. Don't talk shit. We're getting there, okay? Um, this is actually so pretty. Oh my God. Okay. It looks like it's a little fragile. Put together so I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see it might be if you can see the pan the pans are kind of crooked pans are kind of crooked so like I feel like if you drop this you'd be out of luck with some shadows so <laughs> let's not drop it but um I like it you guys want some swatches why not, right? You're watching me. Might as well. Okay, so we got um, Nocturnal. I think this is good. This is a good uh, brow bone highlight or to set your whole eye. Pretty pigmented. I'm crappy at swatches. I'm not a beauty guru. So lay off. Okay. A little chalky. A little chalky. But, you know, with a brush, you work it out. Work it out on your eyebrow, uh, excuse me, on your brow bone and everything like that, or to set your eyes after you put a little concealer or um, eyeshadow primer, you know? Okay, then we got Pillow Fight, which looks, is this a shimmer? It's like a satin finish. I don't know if you can see it. They're a little chalky. My my swatches suck so just bear with me that's a nice good like that's a start to a transition and then you got this one ooh this one feels gritty Yeesh. see that's what I'm saying like you get eyeshadow palettes but like I've had some really awesome ones and then you get some that are kind of eh. okay this one looks like it has a, a glitter I don't know it's a powder top layer and then like as I'm digging as I'm digging into this one, it looks like it's like glitter on the inside. I don't know if you can see this, because again, my lighting sucks. Um, let's do a swatch. Okay, that doesn't even show up. That doesn't even show up. I don't even know what you would use this for. This doesn't. Okay, so do you see the shit? You see the glitter? So this is just like a really, really pale shadow with just like a hint of glitter in it. So not really sure what you would use that for, but maybe an inner corner highlight right there for those of you who are makeup challenged. Um, okay, let's go start going with the dark colors. Now I'm really excited because like I actually really like all of these colors. I'm very neutral toned in the winter, fall in the winter. Like I'm, these are my tones. So I was excited about it, but the top, the top, and there's a little bit of fallout. The top three shades are eh. What are you gonna do? 
All right, so let's go to dark side, which is this one right here. This is like a slate gray, and it looks like it has a satin finish to it. Ooh, that one's nice. Let's see if this one shows up. Okay, that one was very creamy, very creamy, satin color, satin finish. So it feels like that one would blend out really nicely. Okay, then we got another transition color, which is a little deeper than this one. This one's a matte. Ooh, very creamy. That's what a transition color looks like. So that is actually, I like that one. That would be like my go-to every day. I would take a brush and like throw that in the crease of my eyes, done. Um, okay, so the next one is Clutch. Ooh, this is like, this is like a taupe. This is like a taupey bronze. Ooh, oh yeah, like butter. That one's like butter, definitely. I'm sorry, I gotta go over it again because it's so pretty. Oh yeah. See, that would be like a quick all over the lid. That one's really pretty, I like that one. And then you have Flip Out, which is a matte brown. Now, this better perform because a matte browns, when they're patchy, I cannot stand them because when you go to put them in the definition, you know, to for definition in the corner of your eyes and then they become all patchy and you can't blend them out, it's like, why? Why did I just do that? Just ruined my whole look. It's very upsetting, if you haven't noticed. Okay, yeah, that's a little patchy. Crappy swatch, so that's a little patchy. Don't you love my facial expressions? I'm a true beauty guru. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, um, let's do I Spy. Again, this is like a satin. There is, it's not a lot of fallout, but it's a little fallout. Um, okay, so we'll do I Spy. Nice little swatch here. Now, oh, it's it's smooth and creamy, but very soft. So when I just did that swatch, like a bunch just came off. So yeah, you're gonna get some chunks. This one's nice though. So you really a little goes a lot. Ooh, look at that swatch. That's nice. Oh, these are my tones. I know it's so boring, but these are my tones. Like, I will probably use this palette all the time. Like, even though some of the swatches are kind of eh, it doesn't really matter because, like, you're using a brush, so, and I go light-handed, so I would just be careful with, like, the dark brown, like I said, patchy in the definition of your eyes is, like, the worst thing you could do. Um, okay, and so the next one is Silver Spoon. Ooh, that's pretty. That is like a slate blue-gray. Okay, we're gonna go. That's really pretty. Don't judge by my swatch. Oh my God, I gotta do that again. That's really pretty. I like that. Again, very creamy. They're really soft, the satins. So like if you go too hard, you could uh, potentially pick up a couple of chunks and you don't wanna do that. Okay, so then we have three mattes on the bottom. We have Swoop, After Midnight, and All Nighter. I'm just gonna do, ooh, that's a black. Black feels chalky. Ooh, but no, look how pigmented that is. <gasps> They just did that. Let me tell you how many palettes I have that there's black in it, and the black sucks. And people will be like, oh, well, the black is not supposed to be that pigment pigmented, so it's easier to blend out. No, if I want a black shadow, I want it to be like that. Boom, done. Then we have After Midnight. Again, very pigment pigmented. It's a really dark slate gray. It's a matte. Again, very nice, that swatch is good. And then we have another um, 
matte brown. This is cool toned. This one is a warm toned brown. This is uh, on the cooler side for you cool toned gals. Actually, that swatched really good the first time. It didn't need the second one. All right, so these are all swatched. I'm a big fan. Not for nothing, this is this is actually very good swatches. I'm gonna tell you right now, these swatched better. I love her, I'm not dissing her. These swatched better than the new Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. Just saying. You know, with the exception of the light shades here, but again, I mean, those are transitions and brow bone highlights. This is a really good palette. And you get this whole palette in the box. So let's see how much the palette is. So you get the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $35. That's right, you heard it, $35. Okay, so we're going on to the next thing in the box. Next thing in the box is the, oh, I was excited about this. Next thing in the box was the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten. I have been seeing these Laura Geller blusher, blush, excuse, I can't even talk today. These Laura Geller blushes forever from every beauty YouTuber and I was always just like, eh, there's always so many more things that I wanted to buy so I never got a chance to get them. Um, so I was actually really excited to see that this was coming in my box um, this month. So let's take a look. So again, this is the Laura Geller New York Baked Blush and Brighten. And the color, color that I got is Tropic Hues, which again, right up my alley. I like um, corally, corally orangey type of blushes. They just go well on my skin tone. Um, so this is nice. You get a little teeny tiny mirror in here. Who needs that? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, ooh, this is so pretty. So if you look at it, you get all these little tones. You get all these like various tones and then when you swirl your brush together um, it creates this just beautiful color and it looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in here so what I like to do so again you're applying your if you can see my highlight you're applying your highlight here right so after I bronze I bronze and then I highlight my cheekbones and then what I'll do is I'll take a shimmery blush sometimes I have matte, I use matte blushes for this but for the most part it's shimmery blushes and I'll take my bl uh, blush on a nice, big, fluffy brush, swirl, 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 and then right on the apples of my cheeks, it kind of melts. It melts the highlight together with the shimmer on the cheek, and it just kind of seamlessly makes you look like you have an all-over glow. Really nice technique. A lot of beauty uh, gurus do it. So I suggest you try it. Um, okay, so let's do a little swatch. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. That's really pretty. That's actually like really pretty. Just like flipped you guys off, sorry. Oh, that would have been like so perfect for the summer, like with a nice tan. And I don't know if you guys can see it because with my shitty lighting, um, there's, there's a little bit of a shimmer to it. So again, it's perfect for that apples of the cheeks. See how I have a little bit of shine on my cheeks? That's from my blush. That's not just highlight. So just right here, and then like some people swoop it back so you don't have like clown cheeks. That's what I do. I do this, apples of the cheeks, and then I lightly graze it back and it kind of just melts the highlight and the bronze together. Love it. So I was super psyched about this. So, so far we're, you know, we're two out of two. I'm happy with, with both things. So the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten retails for $28. So you've already beat the price of the box. Just saying. So the next thing that we got is the Alomar Cosmetics Ojitos Brush Set. Now, I love Alomar Cosmetics. They're a new brand. Um, I, I recently bought this summer when it launched their eyeshadow palette that they just launched absolutely gorgeous if you love tropical shadows and tropical colors and bright vibrant pigmented creamy shadows hands down it was $28 I bought it used it every single day this summer and then July well I bought it I bought it in May 
and I used it every single day. And then what do I get in July's BoxyCharm box? The other eyeshadow palette, the same one. So now I have two, which I'm not mad at because it's like my favorite palette, honestly. Um, if any of my friends are out there watching this and they want that palette, let me know. I'll give it to you. I'll give you a little giveaway. Because <laughs> I'm probably not going to tap into it for a really long time and I don't want it to go bad. So, Okay, so anyway, long story short, what what retailed with that palette was these brushes. So now these brushes are inside this boxy charm box. So I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the brushes like I was planning on. Um, these are eyeshadow blending brushes, detail brushes, basically. Okay, so what do we got here? Ooh, stuck. You can never have enough fluffy brushes. Just remember that, okay? Perfect. I gotta like reshape this though. Perfect for the crease to do some detail work. Blending on the brow bone. Like it. Very nice. Nice and fluffy. Super soft. And then we have this looks like a nice packing brush. So if you have a shimmer, pack it and then you pack it on. A good cut crease brush. I like this. And this is good for um, liquid liner. Dip, dip, dip. You could really pack it on the lash line. Or if you go into like a dark shadow and you want to smoke out your lash line, you would put it in the shadow and run it along your lash line right here. And then you could use this or something smaller to blend it out. Really good brushes. These retail for $18. You see where I'm going out with these? You totally surpassed the retail of the box. Next thing in the box we have is the Butter London Glazen Lustrous Liner. They always give you liner. I mean, I pretty much get a liner every other box, which is great because a lot of people love liquid liner. I love liquid liner. Do I have liquid liner on my eyes today? No, I don't. Why? Because I don't have the time to do it. I love getting liner. I just don't have enough time to use it. But we're gonna swatch it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a point to try and wear liner on my lashes. Once a week? Once a week. Let's try once a week. Leave myself an extra five minutes in the morning when I get ready. And let's see what happens. I'll let you know if I can follow up with that. <laughs> Okay, so I actually really like the packaging. Ah, it says to shake. Oh yeah, shake it up. You hear that? It's got the ball inside of it. Shake it up, make sure it's nice and good. So let's see, I'm curious to see if this comes out matte or glossy. Um, I like a matte liner on my lids. Some people like glossy, but if you're gonna do a wing, you want it to be like sharp matte. This has a nice, a nice point. If you can see that, and let's see. Mm. Let's see. Mm. This would not be Tati approved. I'm just saying. It's really liquidy. Really liquidy. Let's try this again. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna swatch. It's shiny, but you could always matten it up with like some black eyeshadow. If you did a wing, you could take some black eyeshadow in like a real detail brush like I was showing you, like for the lower lash line, and just pack the black eyeshadow on top of it. It's very pigmented, but if you can see, which I don't know if you can, it's bleeding a little bit into my lines on my hand. So. I may not use this as a wing liner. I would probably use this as just just a lash line liner if I was putting on lashes or something like that just to hide the band. I probably would not use this as a wing because it did bleed just a little bit. So, I mean, still, you know, there's a lot of people out there who would have use for this, so I'll see. I'll try and fit this into my daily routine. No promising. Last but not least, we have I don't even know what this is. I've never tried this brand before. 
This is, oh, and you know what? I forgot to let you guys know. The liner retailed for $19. $19. It's a lot of money for a liner that I'm probably not going to use, but I got it for free. So, um, okay, so we're doing now the Hank and Henry liquid lipstick. You usually get some type of lipstick in every single box. Um, a lot of times it is liquid lipsticks. It's a, how I've gotten a lot of my lipsticks. So um, this one is the Hank and Henry. I've heard good things about Hank and Henry. The packaging is really, really nice. I don't know if you could see. Really, really nice. I kind of thought that this was lipstick on the bottom, but it's not. It's just the way the packaging is. Um, it just makes it look like it's a lipstick. But I guess you go like this. Yep. And you twist it off. And this is, ooh, look at that doe foot applicator. Really big. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But I will put this on for you guys and see what it looks like. Okay. All right. So let's see. smells weird. It smells like candy gone wrong. I don't know. I can't explain it. So, so far I'm not fond of the smell. Not fond of the doe foot applicator either. It's a beautiful color. It's very wearable. What do you guys think? It's very wearable. I like it. I'm going to dunk in one more time. And let's see if I can clean up a little bit. It's not patchy. It's just this doe foot applicator. It's so weird that when you pop it out it doesn't like evenly coat the applicator so when you're putting on your lips it's not exactly the smoothest transition hmm. I like it I like the color. Not really sure about the formula yet. So while I let that dry down a little bit, this retails, I've heard good things about Hank and Henry, so let's hope it works and doesn't irritate my lips like some of them do. Um, okay, so it's very, very comfortable. It's not drying down too hard right now. Um, Cause sometimes you get like the butthole lips right away and I can't stand that. Um, so let's see here. The color is called Ashley's. No. The color is called Petal Pusher. Petal Pusher. Okay. This retails for $17. That's all we got for today, kiddos. Um, so I hope you like this video. If you do like it, please subscribe. Click the like button. I will do more of these. I'll do my BoxyCharm every single month if you guys want. Um, I enjoyed doing this video, so I hope you guys like it too. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.